Hey, th thanks everyone for joining this talk. Uh, my name is Neeraj. Uh, work with Microsoft Cloud Server Infrastructure Team, and part of my job is basically is to provide manageability across all hardware SKUs that we are doing as part of Azure. So uh, today's talk is basically going to be primarily focused on telemetry workgroup and telemetry subsystem uh, that we are sort of collaborating with the community to to enable it. And so this talk is basically divided into two parts. In the first first part, I'm going to talk about the problem statement that we saw and the opportunity we saw and the couple of proposals that we that we received from community and the current alignment that we have and uh, kind of progress on that. And the second phase, Kun is going to talk about detail on the proposal and the next steps that we have on this work stream. So, so fundamentally, right? I mean, if you see the cloud, uh, uh, the challenges, right? I mean, uh, it's all workload driven, right? I mean, we are seeing a rapid change in the workloads uh, that is basically evolving us to to have a new hardware designs kind of, you know, on a on a very regular phase. So we traditionally we used to see only like you know traditional system, right? One socket, two socket, like compute, like you know pizza box chassis. But now, if you see the hardware has evolved rapidly. Right, and we are we are seeing a heterogeneous chassis. We are we are seeing expansion boxes. We are seeing a whole new sort of category of hardware. Right, so 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 with that with with that in place, it's so difficult to kind of create a consistent approach to to monitor the services. Right, I mean it's so difficult with that. And if you see also, right, the commercial cloud requirement requires a state of art telemetry, right? Because if you can't measure it, you can't improve it, right? So, so it, it requires, there are SLAs associated with the customers, there are availability requirements, and you have to meet that. Yep. So, so, so the SLAs and, and availability drives requires a state of telemetry from the BMC or for, for the system, right? And the third third challenge or the opportunity that we see is the role of the BMC that has actually changed from a traditional a legacy microcontroller to just power on, power off to a, a a very intelligent control plane that is kind of serving a whole sort of you know requirement like deployments and you know telemetry and you know all the diagnostics, right? So, so the role of BMC has evolved. So, uh, sorry, technical difficulty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure, no problem. So again, right? I mean, with that uh, data center growth, with that cloud operation growth, what we need? I mean, we need we have a two-dimensional problem, right? In one dimension, we are trying to specialize the hardware. We are onboarding a lot of whole, whole set of new hardware in our data center, but at the same time, we need to have a standard way to manage them, right? Because the workloads are tailored for the hardware, but at the end, the hardware still needs to be managed in the same way that that it has been used to, right? I mean, you cannot create a custom operation for to 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 powering on a blade. You cannot create a custom operation to deploy the firmware. I mean, those operations, the control pin operation has to be same. So, with that in mind, you know, we we see a kind of you know things like processes, right? I mean, the process errors are even the same. So, so if the processor is error, you need a consistent method to retrieve those errors and harvest that information and determine what was the cause of the error, right? The same with the memory, right? I mean, the, you, you could, you could, you could have a different kind of memory. You could have persistent memory. You you could have non-persistent memory. You could have dynamic, right? But but the but the framework to read the memory errors and harvest them and to consolidate the errors and determine the fru that has to be consistent across all the solutions. Same for I/O and same for OS. You know OS of systems. You know, your BMC need to kind of you know get the health monitoring. BMC need to get the heartbeat from the operating system and determine that okay the OS is healthy. Now this could vary from one OS to other OS, but but the method or the framework framework needs to consistent. Same for power supplies and same for BMC, right? You could have different kind of stats, different firmware stat, different firmware stacks that could run. But we want to we are interested to kind of know okay how many how many requests the BMC has served in the past. Okay, what's the health of the BMC? Because as I said the BMC is so critical. You know, we want to make sure the BMC is running healthy. So and and then you have a kind of baseboard the health. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. So, so with that, like, what are we trying to achieve? Uh, so we reviewed those problems. We 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 discussed the, those kind of you know uh, um, uh, challenges. And what we thought, okay, there's a need of a standard telemetry model that that we are lacking. 
so so there are there are a lot of there's a lot of hardware that is currently in the fleet there's a lot of hardware that is being designed but there is no standard way to manage them there is no standard way to kind of read the telemetry from them so so what we thought was you know the so we decided a work stream and uh, we decided we thought that okay we should we should have a configurable method to read telemetry from the system and then once the telemetry has been collected we need a standard way to transport that is the transport the telemetry so with with that with those two goals we started kind of working on this problem and uh, and we we reviewed a couple of proposals that that came in uh, as part of the community work stream so 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 a lot of people said okay how do we solve this problem uh, and we, we we saw that hey we solve this problem by writing our custom demons right i mean if you if you if you have a new accelerator if you have a new gpu that that we are using right now the only way to harvest the telemetry from that hardware is write your custom domain daemon and then basically you know retrieve the data and then use your binary blobs to transport it in whatever version that you want it's it's never defined right so so that that doesn't kind of you know scale us right so so if 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 we are onboarding a new hardware so and and we don't have a lot of information about the new hardware because that is proprietary to that that the provider so you know through harvesting the data that becomes challenging right so what we want to go we want to basically enable hardware vendors to provide their telemetry model that bmc can read that's basically the goal right so so with that uh, we came together and uh, it it basically started with with open bmc work group we saw a lot of interest on you know uh, from folks you know kind of okay how do i read bmc health hey how do i know the max platform power consumption within last one week or last one day right how 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 do i know that and some people said, okay, how do I read the power supply faults that that took place in la last one week, right? So we saw that okay, there's an opportunity where we can we can, we can converge and you know collaborate uh, to create a a common framework, right? So th this this is what kind of you know we are trending towards. So what we said was you know as I said there are two two goals for this work stream. The first goal was basically define a interface to collect telemetry so we, we we sort of reviewed uh we explored some other methods and what we came down is you know we could use collect d as a as a as a matrix collector so so that tool will basically run inside vmc and uh, and collect d has a uh, more than 100 plugin support and uh, so what we thought what we discussed was you know the collect d would run in the bmc it would interface with other existing services inside bmc to harvest the data and then store it as sort of you know in round robin database that database uh, basically there, there's an advantage of using collect d because first of all it's written in c it's it's very highly native it's pretty lightweight it is running in a couple of other systems too so it's highly stable as of now and and the collect d basically produces a, a round robin database file which are highly optimized for telemetry users right so so that that's the reason and also is it supports natively aggregation of the data so so the overhead of the, the software reduces while using this and uh, once the data is collected inside the BMC, how do you transport it back? So, so there's additional proposal came from Paul Winsel from Dell, and uh, sitting out here. So we we discussed the Redfish telemetry already. Redfish already has a telemetry model uh, proposed, uh, and why don't we leverage that? So we, we there's a design proposal already, you know, on the on on there. I I have a link. Uh, please review that. So basically, that already. So it, it's it's pretty flexible model. It allows us to create events. It allow, it basically supports pull and push models. So you can you can define your you can define your telemetry model that okay, you can define requirement like okay, I want to I want to uh, okay, let me start this way. So so there are three subsystems in that right. One is the matrix definition. So so you can define that okay, what is my matrix was gonna look like. Or you can say, okay, I want to I want to I want to log platform power consumption every every two hour and then i want to basically once you have samples you can define your calculation you say i want to apply only max min and average you can define your calculation algorithm as part of that and uh, and uh, once you and then there is a second term called uh, metrics report definition that defines how does your report look like your report could look like a event I mean, your metric report could look like an event. You want to log inside the BMC as a cell, as a cell, SCL, or you could use your standard Redfish model to push those uh, to push those reports. Uh, 
So, uh, and you can also define a trigger. I mean, another example could be, as I said, you know, if if my inlet temperature goes beyond 40 C, I want to log my CPU temperature or something like that. So you could create a model that's pretty flexible uh, to be to be leveraged that, right? Um, uh, so this is a kind of standard uh, a kind of I took an example of how this uh, how this telemetry report look like as I said you know so this is existing a redfish prop that you know we have you know uh, and then from there you can actually you can consume a property uh, in your redfish telemetry subsystem that you can consume and you can produce your min max and average power consumption just an example of that and uh, so so let's let's connect the dots right so i mean uh, so you have a system so the current proposed system architecture is you have a collect d inside bmc that is running the collect d can 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 communicate with other IP open bmc demons using you know dbus and then it can collect it, it can read data from different subsystems and then it can produce um, you know rrd files inside the bmc and then you have intermittent services basically lib rrd that can parse those files and it can produce those those data with either ipmi or you can you can you can use the data with redfish or you can you can directly consume that data and you know kind of consumed by services like graphite that can consume that rrd file like pretty pretty native right so 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 that's like a high level system architecture that that we are proposing and uh, so with that so the group is still active it's still new i would call it we we have a first proposal but that has not been formalized that has not been kind of checked into the master still the reviews are coming in so uh, there's a work group call that we have every tuesday at uh, 9 30 a.m uh, feel free to join that and there are there's a requirement list that we are capturing the requirement list basically contains like what are, what are you trying to i mean what is your current model and what are you trying to achieve it basically kind of kind of getting the input to see okay what direction we should go this current design is based on the five or six inputs that we have and we have brainstormed from past like four to five meetings but there's still yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that the best is yet to come so we'll see that and this is the list of design proposals that we have as of now uh, in the community that that the one of them from from kun uh, and the, from the from the Paul, so please review that those designs and you know provide your feedback. So yeah, with that, uh, I would like to pass it to Kun uh, for the next stage. Thank you.